Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. I want to talk about some of the more advanced features in Langgraph, uh, and starting with the idea of breakpoints. So breakpoints is kind of part of the broader category of human in the loop. So it's basically one particular way to interject human approval uh, or intervention in your agent. So here's basically the motivation. What if you have an agent that has access to sensitive tools, like for example, the ability to write to a database? I want the ability to kind of stop execution prior to running that tool and approve it manually and then have the agent proceed forward. So that's the big idea. Now, two ideas are really important for this idea of breakpoints. One is checkpointing and the other are threads. And these are related. So think about I have a simple graph that has two steps. In Lang Graph, we can set up a checkpointer that basically writes the output of each of those steps to what we call a checkpoint. So checkpoint one basically will have the values, i.e. the state, uh, and the next node to go to at, that, at one particular step. Likewise, at step two, we have a checkpoint that has the state as well as the next step. In this case, it's end, right? Now, these checkpoints are rolled up into what we call a thread, what has a particular ID. So we can reference this anytime we want to basically rewind and look at the state uh, of a particular run, we can do that by basically just uh, utilizing this thread. So that's the big idea. So basically, as we run our graph, the checkpoint will write the state uh, as in checkpoints as it proceeds through its steps. And that's all rolled up into thread, which we can access later. Now, this is relevant because in the case of human approval, we can stop our agent get approve it, approve what's going to do, and we can pick up where we left off because we have a thread that captures the state all the way up to this place that we've stopped. So that's kind of how it all ties together. Now let's actually show this working in code. So here I'm just gonna copy over something to a blank notebook here. All I've done is I've hip installed LangGraph, copy this over, and I can run it. Now this is like a very simple graph. Uh, basically I have a simple state that has a single, uh, single uh, key called input three steps, which is print their, you know, their step number. I've added those steps as nodes right here, along with my state. Um, and here's my connectivity. So I'm starting, I'm going basically linearly from step one to three to end. Now this memory is my check pointer. And this interrupt before is my breakpoint. So what's happening is, I'm basically gonna say in my build, I always wanna interrupt execution before step three. So I'm gonna go to two. And then I want to seek human approval before going forward to step three. So that's where I'm putting my breakpoint. Now you can also do interrupt after, so you can say after step two or after step one. Um, and again, the memory or this check pointer is basically going to save the state of our graph as we go through. So let's kind of set everything else up. Here we go. So here's my input. I'm just going to pass hello world in. And I'm also gonna set a thread. So this is a thread ID, which I can reference later. And we're gonna see that. So let's just kick this off, what's gonna happen. So first, this is where I'm gonna invoke my graph. And I'm gonna pass the input, I'm gonna pass the thread ID, and it's gonna run. Now you can see it only runs to step two because we set this interrupt before step three, right there. And what I've done is I set up this kind of manual user approval thing. If I'm gonna say yes, what happens is, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue my graph execution. And because I pass in the thread, which I'm I've already written to and referenced by ID here, it picks up where the thread left off. So the thread will leave off at step two. And let's just say yes here. So I'm gonna run yes. And it's gonna pick up from the thread at two and it should just run three. And there we go, we see it. So again, it just, the thread is written just through step two when we go ahead and invoke it with a thread passed, we go ahead and continue on to step three and end. If I run this again, if I say, for example, no, and I'm canceled, I never go to step three. So this is an extremely simple uh, kind of illustration of how breakpoints work. All I need to do is basically just supply a check pointer, which we do here, and an interruption somewhere in your graph. Um, and that's really it. Again, create a thread, pass it to your graph at the initial invocation. And as a graph runs, it's gonna to write to that thread. It'll hit your breakpoint. You do some action at the breakpoint, and then you can continue on, but just by simply passing that same thread through, and it'll pick up from where that thread left off and continue with your graph. So really powerful idea. And really to motivate it, 
the a, a great use case for this are indeed tools. So you know you have an agent has access to tools that are sensitive, write tools to database, write tools to kind of um, you know uh, a public Slack or a company Slack. Um, this is where the idea of breakpoints before you actually perform such a sensitive action are really useful to kind of seek human approval. Um, so that's kind of the simple idea, and we're going to continue on with other human loop themes in a few follow-up videos. Thanks.